Hello guys and welcome to Extra Fun's Resource Pack Showcase. Today we're going to be looking at the D Null Power Resource Pack. It is a 32 res texture pack and it looks really polished. I think it's because I've done two 16 res texture packs, but this one just seems... I don't know, it's got a really polished feel to it. And everything looks different and apparently the person who um, asked me to do this texture pack said it's got a lot of weird elements to it. For example, this is a bow. Um, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. I assume it's some kind of party popper type thing, because when you fire it, it shoots a... Well, I can only assume it's some kind of, like, confetti or something like that. I assume that's what I'm going for. Oh, and uh, spades or spoons. So, um, you know, spoons are always good. So, in the last episode, things didn't go too well for us. We lost everything. Um... In fact, what I have right now in my uh, inventory here, this is the best stuff we have. So, I know today's a surface episode, but we're not going to do a surface episode. We're going to do a ground episode because, and I'll show you in a minute why, if we go ahead and make our way down there, do 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 if I go down to my little coal mine down here, and I think there's a zombie down here, I'll have to check. Mm, 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 mm. Nope. But basically, this is all we have. Alright, so let me get the bow out here. I'd make some torches, but unfortunately, I don't have any coal. If we look down here, I didn't realise there was a little cave down here, and there is a dungeon right underneath our house. So, um, yeah, surprised we didn't see that earlier. What are those? I mean, they're zombies, clearly. But, uh... Go, 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 go. Got it. Alright, so because we have nothing, we really need this dungeon to pay out. Um... We're actually desperate for it to pay out. Also, something else. Um, I was fishing earlier just to get like my HP bars back because I was really low on health. And turns out you can get enchanted. I heard you. I don't know where you are, but stop it. Uh, I didn't realise you could get enchanted books from uh, fishing. So I was fishing and I got this enchanted book. Like, that's a powerful book. Like... I don't know what I think what we'll probably do is if we get any diamonds we're gonna save that book for enchanted like weapons and stuff so uh, we'll definitely do that but yeah like everything in that book is actually really useful so we'll definitely take that so we got lucky there but let's go ahead and check out this uh, dungeon okay so my ingots a bread bucket bucket wheat the bread is actually it looks like a cheese... See, I don't have any light. Let's make it a lot easier. Ooh, iron ingots. And lots of name tags. Alright, well, we need the iron ingots because we need iron pickaxes. So, we're going to head back up to the top. Um, I'll probably mine that mossy cobblestone later. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we can make something, uh, make something with that. Honestly, what might have been a good idea, um, I probably should have... Let's get a brown mushroom too because I think there was a red mushroom in that dungeon. So we can get a bowl of stew as well while we're at it. Because you've got to use everything we have. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, make our way out here. Go ahead and... I was going to say smelt the iron, but we don't need to do that. Let's have a look at the... Uh, go ahead and stick that in here. Hmm. Well, isn't that pleasant? Let's go see the dogs. Oh. Yeah, there is no dogs. Ah. Alright, in that case, let's just go ahead and make some uh, iron picks. And maybe an iron sword, too. Do -do 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 -do. Click, 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 click. Keep the cheese toasty. Alright, let's put all this stuff 
extra stuff that we don't need in the chest. We don't have a saddle. Can we tame a horse? Oh, I think we can. Because we have a name tag and a saddle, right? So we can tame a horse now? I think. Let's go ahead and try it, just see if it works before we go down there. And swap that with that, swap that with that. Alright, which one do we want? I like this chestnut looking one over here. Hey. Can I, um... Hey, stop. We alright? Okay, he's having none of it. I assume I need to do something. Maybe he needs, like, wheat or something. But I don't know. We'll do that in the next episode. And that music's getting a little overbearing now. Stop that. Alright. Put you back in the jukebox. Uh, put the saddle and the name tag back in the jukebox. Take the shovels, put them down there. Put the book in there. Do we need anything else? Um, torches. But uh, we can get them when we when we go down there, because we have plenty of wood, so that's fine. All right, let's go down there. Let's see if we can mine some uh, stuff. Do we have two iron ingots now? Should we take a? We'll take a stack of cobblestone, because uh, sometimes you need to get high ledges. I always find it really useful to take a stack of cobblestone with me whenever I go uh, mining. I know I can just mine the cobblestone around me, but. Eh, you know, it's it's efficiency. I don't know. I don't know what I tell you. Do 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and actually eat the fish, and we'll save the toasty. And uh, let's go ahead and find some. Let's find some coal first. I think there's some up here somewhere. Yeah. So if we go ahead and do that. We can actually see what we're doing, which is always a bonus. I also really like the, uh... Hey, you freaky little alien man, get away from me. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like, um... Well, he doesn't, but... It reminds me of the Finn men from, uh, XCOM. Which is a game that I've been getting into recently. What with the new DLC... Well, I say new DLC, it's hardly new now, but... Enemy unknown, which is a really, which is really good. I've been enjoying it. Click do 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Wow, that goes down a long way. I think we'll check down there first. Mm, let's mine this. Uh, let's mine this iron for. Ooh, what? You guys see that too, right? Oh wow, another dungeon. Whew. All right, well let's go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Actually, let's not. I've got an idea. I know I said we were gonna do mining this episode, but Actually, no, we will. We'll do mining this episode, but we're going to keep that out. Come on, there's no lighting. There's no light in that area. Why are you still spawning? Stop that. All right, we'll take all this. Saddle, buckets, another cheese toasty, or a panini, or I don't know what it is. Could be anything. All right, so let's go ahead and drop the cobblestone here. And let's go ahead and make our way into the cave. Alright guys, and we are back. Uh, fun fact, um, we just had a power cut. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, all of a sudden I had to stop for a second. But um, we're fine now. Let's go, and eat, and let's go ahead and eat one of our toasties. And make our way down into the death spinny folk skeleton. Well, it's not a skeleton. I don't know what it is, to be honest. It's, uh, it's funny looking. Alright, now we are going to go down 
there because that seems the most promising area but is that a pink creeper interesting all right but let's just have a look down here because it's always these really small like branched off areas that usually turn out nope usually pay off usually they'll lead to like a bigger cave system from from my experience but not today so never mind do you know what for coal and iron let's go ahead and just use the gold pickaxes because let's be honest the gold pickaxes are pretty useless but they do get the job done fast so uh for stuff like coal and iron can you mine iron with a gold pickaxe? I think you can. Mm. No, you can't. Okay. The more you know. So we'll get a couple of pieces of these just in case we do die. I love we do die. We're going to drop it anyway, so that doesn't necessarily make sense, but hey. Alright, so let's make our way down here. We're going to go all or nothing. Try to get ourselves some, uh, some. I heard you. You're there somewhere. I'm also curious where that zombie went. Because I heard a zombie in one of those dungeons. And I haven't seen him yet. So he's wound here. He's just. He's being awfully sneaky about it. That is a pink creeper. Well, look at that. Oh. Ow. That was a good shot. Get out of here. Ah. It's like a slightly flamboyant creeper. Which is okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, there's that zombie. I was wondering where you, when you were going to turn up. Get out of here. That's my New Yorker accent. New York, New Yorker. Hey, come on, I'm trying to eat my... What was it? Co coffee? I'm trying to eat my coffee here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm getting sidetracked. He's losing it again. Um, Can I make that jump? Maybe. Yeah, I can make that jump. Don't think it leads me anywhere, but... Uh, you know, you got to check these things out. You never know. Mm, nope. Alrighty, fair enough. Do, 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 do. So we got yeah, we got 17 pieces of iron. We can get some more iron on the way out. But basically, as long as we get a decent amount of iron, just enough to uh, recuperate our losses from the last episode, it's not a complete loss, but some diamonds would be nice. Ow. Why would you do such a thing? God, the water's annoying. Wow, I lost a lot of health on that one. <laughs> That would have been unfortunate. Alright, let's wait. We could put some of our hearts here. Is that another skeleton? I hate skeleton. Oh, that was me. What are you looking at? Freaky little alien baby. Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. You want a rumble? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I apologise to all New York... New Yorkians? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. New Yorkers. Ha! Got him. Oh, wow. Well, I'm thinking if there's going to be any diamonds... Down there is very likely, and you know what? I'm going to take someone's advice from last episode. I'm just going to go ahead and kill off the uh, source block. Probably a better idea than uh, trying to jump over it like I did last episode, because that went really well, you know. Who? Might as well check up here while that lava is dis dissipating. Dissipating? Is that the word? I don't know. That's what we're going with. Mm, nope. Nothing. Any, like, iron or... I don't know. Might be some iron around here somewhere. But, doesn't look like we're getting any luck. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, that's dissipating, but it's been awfully slow about it. So, do you know what? We'll just, uh... uh... I didn't want to do that, but that works too.
See, it's stuff like this. It's me being impatient, and that's the kind of stuff that gets me killed. Okay, we can drop now. Ow. Some iron up here. We'll take that. Got it. Alright, so as soon as we get some diamonds, we can go back to the surface. And if we don't get any diamonds, then we can... Uh, Cry and then go back to the surface. Sounds like a plan to me. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to climb the waterfall here. Right. I don't know. Alright, we'll take the gold. Don't know why we'll take the gold. There isn't really much use in gold, but uh, you know, you can get the quick, the faster uh, pickaxes, and I don't know. We can do something with it. Oh, I need gold anyway because it's extra uh, tombstones. Ooh, never portal. Tempting. Ooh. I'm gonna take you. Can't see anything as of yet. I like the lava in this. It's really vibrant. That's like one of my favourite words. I feel like every texture pack showcase or resource pack showcase. It's texture packs, okay? I don't know what I tell you. Um, I feel like every episode I have to say vibrant at least five times. Like, it seems to be my favourite word. And now I'm showing you the uh, some some very vibrant vibrant colours. A little bit of grey, a little bit of green. It's very very vibrant. Okay, very very vibrant. Um, right. Let's try down here. Ah, don't like you. Ah, get out of here. Mm, nope. Let's try up here. See if this leads. Yeah, it does lead down. Nope, nothing there either. We are running short on torches and food, so we will head up shortly. But uh, we'll have one last look. We might actually come back to this cave because this cave seems to go like everywhere. So um, I'm thinking it's only a matter of time before you find something. I would try surfing that lava over to. Uh, a lower down point, but what floor are we on right now? Eleven. Yeah, if we're gonna find diamonds, this is probably the uh, the best place to do it. I think real quick, we'll make a little two by. Ooh, wow, gold really doesn't last very long. In that case, let's just use both of these. We'll just dig straight down here. Like this until both of these pickaxes run out, and if we don't see any diamonds, then we'll go ahead and make our way back to the top. I think. So as far as those spiders, the reason why I didn't break the spider chest is I'm thinking of making a uh, a mob trap, so we get infinite string. Now, preferably, I'd like to do something like that with a skeleton, uh, with a skeleton spawner, because obviously skeletons are a lot more useful, because obviously it means infinite bone meal for farms. Plus hours. I'm not much of a bow like bow user, but um, you know, I will I will you I will use bows if I have tons of hours. Don't think we're gonna have any luck. We finish off on some gold blocks. That's better than nothing, I suppose. But um, all in all, no diamonds. Hmm. I'm really tempted. Let me check something first. Yeah, that does lead somewhere. Hmm. 
this is the part where I get myself killed. It's, it'll only take like one one good shot from a skeleton or something like that. But I have I have faith that uh, this is going to pay out. I'll pay it off. I don't know. And it doesn't lead anywhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, on that note, I think we'll cut our losses. We got plenty of iron. How many iron did we get? 41 iron, 11 gold. Do you know what? That is more than enough to keep us uh, occupied until the next episode. So, we've made back a lot of our losses. We still don't have any diamonds, but hey, iron is, iron is not bad at all. So, I'm perfectly fine with that. Plus, we have some obsidian down here, should we want to make a never portal if we do find a diamond pickaxe so i'm going to cut it here and go back up to my house and cut all right guys and that's it for today's episode of extra funds resource pack showcase would i recommend this uh, resource pack do you know what i would the mobs looked a little funny and i didn't think it'd be something that i'd get used to but honestly you do warm to them after um playing for a little bit and you actually don't mind them at all after a little while um I will say a couple of items are a little strange. Oh, I could have got a fish there. Um, for example, if you get a piece of flint and a piece of iron ingot, ingot ooh, you get a uh, flint and tinder, obviously. However, a flint and tinder in this game... If anybody can make sense of that, you let me know. I fail to see the logic. <laughs> I fail to see the logic in Flint and Tinder being an AK. Um, yeah, don't know what I'll tell you with that one. But um, apart from the weird little things like that, um, it's actually a really nice looking texture pack. Like a really polished looking, really bright. I'm going to say vibrant. I can see it in my. I can feel it in my throat now. I want to say vibrant. But it is. That's exactly what it is. It's vibrant. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. So guys, this has been uh, Extra Funds Resource Pack Showcase. Again, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. Let me know what you think of the series. Let me know if you want me to change anything, do something new. Um, just let me know what you think. Any suggestions, and I appreciate you guys for commenting and all that kind of stuff. So do what you like. All right, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.